Alright guys, how's it going? So earlier on today, I made a tutorial called Paste Flipped Keyframes. Now I put my hands up, I had a little bit of a brain fart moment, but in my defence, Blender's terminology here is probably not the best, but that's no excuse. So in this video, I'll actually show you how to mirror keyframes. Now I'll quickly repeat the exact same process as last time, I'll enable auto keyframe, I'll move it minus 5 in the Y axis, and I'll move it on frame 60 plus 5 meters, and we get back our epic animation. So I'll quickly jump into the graph editor, and I'll show you a few tricks while I'm here. I'll drop down the object transform, now we're interested in the Y location. So if I right click on this, I can move, move to the top, and that'll bring it right up the top of the chain. I can then use B to box select the rest of the channels, right click and I'll delete them. Now if you want to lock a channel, just use the padlock and that locks down the channel for you. So in order to mirror keyframes it's pretty simple, select the keyframes, press Ctrl and M and that brings up the mirror shortcut. Now just be careful, the graph editor and mirror is slightly different from the dope editor, but we can use both. So I have my keyframes selected and I'm going to select by values over value equals zero. And now I'll just quickly flip the keyframes. So we now get this action. Now let's say I actually want to use the timeline slider. I'll go to a frame 120, I'll press Ctrl and M, and I'll use by times over current frame. And because I've got a 60 frame buffer, it'll actually put the keyframes on a frame 180. So I'll use by times over current frame, you can see here it flatlines and then on frame 180 I get the action. And that's pretty much how you mirror keyframes in the graph editor. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates. You know what to do. Peace.